Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden and before we enter the next dungeon of the game we need to fuse up some new personas and the only place we can do that is the Velvet Room. So let's uh, come inside and well fuse up a new persona and to the Velvet Room. Hello, hello to yourself Margaret but there seems to be something amiss. One person is absent from this room. Something is different. Maria is nowhere to be found. If you are looking for Maria, I sent her on an errand. She should be back soon. Uh, okay, what kind of errand? Oh, please don't be concerned. This errand is, of course, pertaining to those of us who reside within the Velvet Room. I would never allow her to roam your world freely by herself. Okay, uh, gotcha, and there's a piece of paper on the floor. Oh. What is that? She must have dropped it. <laughs> okay, and it seems the piece of paper belongs to Marie. You notice something you written on it. Perhaps you should return it to her. Good idea. Uh, wait, no! Marie frantically snatches the paper away from you. What, what are this? you doing? I mean, wh what are you doing? Did you look? Uh, no, I didn't actually have time. I see. Oh, you, you didn't. Really? That's good. Marie looks uh, very relieved. J just forget this. It happened. All of it. I'm hypnotizing you now. Sleep. Sleep. You didn't see anything. Now wake up. Uh, I'm sure. I'm not sure that's how hypnotism works. And <laughs> that is quite an interesting reaction. Is what is on written on the paper really that embarrassing? Welcome to the Excuse us. Now, once again, welcome to the Velvet Room. Okay, welcome my butt. That was close. <laughs> okay, so apparently Marie had something written on that piece of paper she did not want us to see. I wonder what it was. We will find out eventually. Anyways, we're making a super helpful persona in this episode. And I know this guy has a lot of fans, so we better hustle it up itself. No, it's not really self. But she will be... No, I didn't want Palu... I need to actually say that spell correctly. Pulimpa. That's how you say that. Gets rid of panic. But you know what Pacha does? Gets rid of way more crap. So I'm going to fuse that onto this new persona. Yes. For the future episodes, though, all fusion uh, ingredients will be in the description. I'm going to probably say that a couple times because a lot of people asked me in the previous Persona Let's Play exactly how I did my fusions and did not have the patience to just watch the video, which I perfectly understand. Some people just want to know my recipes, and that's fine and all. The next Persona we're going to need is a Hierophant Omenokane. Ooh. We're going to use this Persona in that Sylph that we just fused. And then we're going to create something. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this. Because you thought just doing social links you know, was just good and helped you out. No. They make your personas extremely stronger. You see this Jack Frost right here? Level 16. He's going to get, you know, a little bit of XP because we've been hanged out with Yosuke. He's going to get 1,300 extra experience points. That's going to give him like three levels guys and that means he's gonna learn more skills and do a lot more damage in battle so even though we're only level 16 we can get a level I don't want it. No, that's pretty much it. a level 19 persona just because we're doing social links do you realize how op that is i don't think you do oh my gosh here he comes <gasps> the mascot of all of atlas the greatest company ever conceived by man <sighs> dare i say his name Jack Frost has been summoned. I'm Jack Frost. Ho! Nice to meet you. Hee ho! Yes, the greatest persona ever. Sometimes in games, he's our best friend, and sometimes he's our greatest enemy, and threatens to kill us. In this game, he's actually gonna be a fantastic ally. He has 18 magic, gets ice boost, and boofula. Now, up till now, we've been sort of lacking in the ice damage area. Not anymore, because we got Jack Frost, baby. <laughs> yeah, he's going to do a ton of damage. And he's actually going to be very helpful for this next dungeon. And I'm going to make sure to check my compendium and register all personas that have changed experience. There we go. You want to do that pretty much every time. It's greatly beneficial to your time in beating Persona 4. 
Also, before we go, we want to head over here to Old Man Daidarada. Now, I sold all of my stuff off screen because honestly, we had so many materials, it was going to take forever. I have 4,500 uh, yen right now. Not amazing, but hey, it'll do. I'm going to pretty much spend a lot of money here, though. We're going to get the best possible armor for our main character. And yes, I would like to do all that stuff. And pretty much Yukiko, too, because she has really bad armor <laughs> starting out. Unlike Chie, she didn't come here and actually buy her own stuff. So we have to help her out a bit. I was going to get some survival good stuff. Should be good. Sell the combat dress. And do we need something for Yosuke? No, I honestly... Uh... I think I'm just gonna buy a weapon for Yosuke. Yeah, the poison kunai. Yeah. Low odds of poison damage. Our attack's gonna go up. Our hit ratio will go a little bit down, but that's fun. These are really great weapons for him. And maybe I should get something for... Uh, should I get something for myself? No, not really, because I'm gonna be using Jack Frost for the majority of this episode. And I actually want to store a little bit of my yen so we can actually use the fox's healing. And let's think, is there anything else I need to take care of? No, no, that's pretty much it. Let us leave the shopping district and go to Junez and get the next dungeon underway. I love this dungeon to death, and I have a lot to talk about it, so well, let's get started and go back to the food court. It's kind of... <laughs> we crap, <laughs> that's the wrong elevator, but... Okay, yeah, it kind of sucks that I brought everyone here just to dismiss them, but now, now we are ready to enter the TV world. Let's go. We TV world! Whoa, I'm staring at a TV while we're going into the TV. Whoa, this game is crazy and sensei! You're here! Any clues? Uh, yeah, we actually found out a couple. Oh, you found some! Yes, I did! Let's go tell Teddy all about Kanji. Oh, you found out more about Kanji! Uh huh, a complex. Um, that's it? That's all I have to go on? You're working me to the stuffing! Oh well, then I'll open my nose up real wide and sniff real hard! Hmm... Oh, I think I found something! It feels like our target! Is this it? Follow me! Is it just me, or does the fog here seem kind of different? My glasses are fogging up. Man, it's hot in here. This place is like a... Come here, pussycat. Oh, such well-defined pecs. There's no need to be scared. Now just relax. Wait a sec, I don't want to go. Is Kanji Kun really here, Teddy? The nose knows. We're really going in here? I can already feel the sweat rolling down my back because it's so hot. Kanji's location has been pinpointed. And all that's left is to rescue him. You should prepare yourself for the rescue mission. Now, the next dungeon is like... What? We go from a castle, which usually isn't a too big a stray for role-playing games, to a bathhouse. And... The, a steaming one of that, and no need to worry! This fog won't clear for a while. Evidence? I told you, I don't know what that is. Is it tasty? <laughs> it's okay, Teddy, probably. I'm the best uh, source of information all the time, and I've made up my mind, you. We're definitely gonna save them. Yeah! They removed from party, why would I do that? <laughs> no. So yeah, we can talk to our teammates before we enter, and I'm all set! We'll do it flawlessly this time. Yeah, we, we will. We'll succeed and not... Fail, and now yeah, it's actually the first time we get to use a Yukiko, Kanjukun, in a bathhouse. 
I wonder what could mean. That could mean. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not gonna get too direct here, but I have a pretty good idea of what they're. No, no, no. It's a little more deep than that, obviously. Just like Yukiko's uh, dungeon. And this place is really steamy. So why do I feel a chill down my fuzzy spine? I think I gotta. <laughs> my nose is totally useless. Kanji kun, where are you? Answer us! <laughs> okay, uh. Teddy really wants Kanji get rescued, and before we get uh, too in depth, I want to make sure that I have a Jack Frost equipped it, because he's going to totally kick butt. And I also need to change my battle tactics for. Yeah, Yukiko. I don't know why it's almost said Akihiko. To direct command, so we can, well, command her directly. So here's the. No! No, you're not getting away! You're not getting away this time! I don't even care. I don't even care. Dang it, dang it. No! God damn it. I get so unlucky with these stupid. No! Don't go away. Don't. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, I guess we'll have to get to the wealth hand another day. Instead, we got the bribed buzz enemy of the Hierophant Arcana. These guys are weak to fire and dark. Guess what I got? I got a Persona Ukabaki. My heavens. He's got this spoon of fire, though. And he is ready to fight. So you know what? Let's light him up. Now, alternatively, Yukiko also is a main priority. Oh. Go for it, Chie. Why not? Oh, Galactic Punk. This is going to hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Yukiko's follow-up. Uh, not Yukiko. Chie's follow-up attack. Just completely removes one enemy from the battle. Just like that, and wow, that all attack did jack crap. So this guy, uh, not really too intimidating. He just likes to hit you with his gun. Not always too big of a problem, but luckily, we got Yukiko and her fire-based attacks. Now, another enemy? Are you serious? We're fighting them all today, man, I guess. Uh, we got another enemy to go up against, the Automat... Auto... No the Autobot Basol, yeah. These guys, they're a bit on the rocky side. They are very impervious to physical attacks. So you know, the best course of action is to use some wind attacks, get an all-out attack, and then attack them. Attack! And this is what the uh, four people all-out attack looks like. It looks way cooler than the three. Actually, no, not always. Usually when you is in the center is when it's the coolest. Hey, we got some new Shuffle Time cards. We got Money Up. Take that, because Money Up is really good. <laughs> I want as much yen as I can, because when we have more yen, we can afford to use the Healing Fox's uh, Leafs, which is nice. Yeah, it's a shame I did not get that uh, Golden Shadow, but what are you going to do about it? And more enemies. <laughs> Super duper! Oh great, these ones are actually really scary. The Pursing Pierce PC Pass. Yeah. They're only weak to light, an element that I currently do not have, which is kind of a bummer. So, we're just gonna get around that. We're gonna use Broske to use some Garu to knock down. Oh god, they have like skulls on their back. I totally forgot that. It's kind of uh, creepy. In a way, even though I think they're. Aren't they like the Empress Arcana or something? Pretty sure that's the Empress Arcana mask. I guess they all are. In a way, not really too sure the uh, symbolism on that. And oh no, evil touch. Don't connect. Yeah, that's my girl. She uh, dodging attacks with ease because that's just how she rolls. Now I really want to show off some of uh, Jack Frost's uh, ice skills, but at the end of the day, uh, this enemy actually reflects ice back at us, which would technically heal us, but it'd just be kind of a waste of our turn. So we don't want to do that. I might as well show off. Yeah. She ain't not gonna do a whole lot to them. So we're just gonna let uh, Yukiko do her thing. Get some damage in there. Nine times out of ten, though, you're gonna be, for the most part, doing most of the damage with your team. If you have, like, if you pick Jack Frost, that is. And, oh, life's not. Okay, I'm not too upset about that. We gotta see a new enemy type after all. And yeah, I, I know it's kind of controversial, I guess, but I really like the music. Badass, especially that, like, drum beat. I don't know, it's just really. It's catchy, you know? Even though, obviously, it's a little, uh, a little steamy in here, and 
Shadow is here too. Oh no, you am not fighting you because I know what enemy that is and I do not want to fight it till way later till I get like a level up and can we get the preemptive attack? Oh my god, they're doing it. No way. No way. This early on? Oh my god. Well, I did 46 damage, but still, it was awesome. You just saw the combo attack, and I love that one because it's shares the bond between Yukiko and her friend Shiei. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, sometimes that can happen, and no, we didn't get the preemptive attack, unfortunately. And... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You sense an intensely terrifying presence. Open the box. Should we do it, guys? What are you, stupid? No! <laughs> Sorry, I just had to tease you guys a little bit. Uh, that box would contain a very powerful enemy, and I'm sure a majority of you know who he is by now if you've ever played the game. For those who haven't, but rest assured, we will get to that enemy one day. Nice life stones. I'm pretty sure this floor has been fully explored, except for that one chest I refuse to open because, uh-uh, I am playing on that. So let's move on to the uh, next floor or section of the bathhouse. Yeah, mm hmm. We haven't come across Kanji Kun yet. Oh yeah, Sensei. Can I ask you something? Why is it so steamy in here? Does it have something to do with Kanji? Kun? Yeah, kind of a little bit. I don't really get it. Do you know what it is, Sensei? Yeah, I can kind of get it what the the game's hinting at with Kanji. Uh, it's kind of a touchy subject, though, considering it's his sort of his orientation. But yeah, we'll get into that a little bit later. Well, I guess it's a debatable subject of the game. But we'll discuss that when it becomes a little more relevant. And man, I got a crap beat out of me in that last fight. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> I was... I was rushing with uh, Chie to take down some of those bribed fuzzes, and unfortunately I kept the rush going when it was, well, Yukiko's turn, and then she threw a fan instead of using Maragi, which was really bad. Oh, we can get the preemptive attack on this guy, which hopefully will be a new enemy, and indeed it will be. These are the monopolizing cupids. And this is the first time Jack Frost will actually be useful for his main purpose, which is an ice attack. Yeah, if you don't know about Jack Frost, he's kind of an ice guy. He likes his ices and stuff like that. And luckily, we will get our sweet bonus carried over. And ooh, Saki Matsama. I will actually definitely, well, I have no choice but to pick it up because, well, we have three cars to choose from. Nice. The uh, sweet bonus will continue. We'll get a cup and also a brand new persona. We want to get personas from this dungeon basically to replace the ones we're not using from Yukiko's castle just so we can fuse stronger and stronger personas and as far as I've noticed we should be ooh golden chest really hope I have a key for that let's see if I do black feather I'm curious about that let's actually see what it does increase yeah. resistance to darkness and yeah, it's not really too big of a thing and oh yeah I've never really pointed this out we can change our clothes around doesn't really make sense in this uh, scenario, but we can. And wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change. Uh, what do I want to change around? You know, we're gonna make Yosuke in his casual <laughs> clothing. Why not? Winter clothes. Yeah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> He's like, man, I hate this stupid place. It's been cold. Not really, because time. You get what I'm saying? So basically, uh, yeah, change our costumes a little bit, and we found the stairs! How about that? Is there any other areas? Ooh, wow, this is a very short floor. So I think I'm actually going to continue and try and explore a little bit. Even at this point in the game, though, we are going to try and pretty much conserve, not only conserve our items, but get more items. And I'm so tired of you guys. They are also weak to uh, instant death, which, um, obviously, ooh, yeah, nice, we got the poison. Uh, Ukabak can obviously use... But you still can't face the fact that Yukiko, she has a lot of SP, and she does a lot of damage, so if we get an all-out attack opportunity, we might as well use it, you know, it's one of those things. And it would basically take me 24 SP to knock out all of these guys, assuming the Mudo attacks hit in the first place, which is, wow, not to Ticey, that's nice to see. 
Uh, do I want to reduce my money by that much? No, just to keep it going. Okay, let's see. One, two. Okay, I'll try that, and hopefully it won't get rid of the hero thing. Oh, actually, change the persona. Crap, that's the one thing I did. <laughs> God dang it. Whatever, we'll just keep it going. We'll keep shuffle. Sweet bonus going, I guess. Now you're starting to kind of figure out how to abuse the system, and no, I do not want not to tie C. I already have that persona, and luckily doesn't prompt us to get him again. That's kind of nice, because you know personas are unique, and you can only have one. Don't know why you'd want two copies of a persona. That'd be kind of dumb, and you were not getting away. Mm! No, no. You can go through doors. It's stupid. Get back here. Eh, fine. Open up the chest. Okay. Mm! I think we got him. I think we got him. Yes, this is the Wealth Hand. Now, the Wealth Hand is resistant to all four magics, instant death, and basically only hit him with physical attacks. This is why I wanted these daggers from Yosuke. But, considering we didn't even kill the first one, I'm not taking any risks here. I'm just going with Sonic Punches, and hopefully he will get a crit. Let's see, who, who has the best offense? I'm pretty sure Oberon does with his arm cutter. If I could get the status element off, that'd be great. Basically, why am I freaking out so much? When we kill these things, we will pretty much always get a level. And that may not sound like a big deal. It absolutely is. Do I want to use Rebellion? No. Oh, man, I should have raccooned it. Oh, God, this is really, really bad. Hopefully, it will not be able to escape. Uh, Yukiko, not the best physical attacker. Let's just toss out our fan. He's going for Palumpa. Not great. Not the best thing in the world, I must say. Let's just try the Sonic Punch. No crit, darn it. Okay, I'm just going for a Rakunda. I really, really want to beat this thing because this one shadow has been taunting me so far for the whole Let's Play, and I don't want that trend to continue necessarily. I don't. Wait, doesn't she? Yeah, she has my Patra. Will that give her? Yeah, that should. So let's show off me Patra, which removes status elements. Like the one on GA. It's a pretty good skill to get. I recommend it. Ow, that hurt a lot. So basically, yeah. Get used to using physical attacks, and uh, chances are you probably have some at this point. Now, I'm not saying you can't use, um, oh god, I thought that was going to crit, that would have been great. Uh, now, I'm not, I can't, I'm, I can't say you can't use, you know, an ice break attack or something similar like that to, oh, should I heal here? Nah, he's not missing that much HP. To, uh, make him not, oh, seems bewildered, nice, that's really good, uh, to make him not immune to ice anymore and go with that tactic but nine times out of ten the physical attacks are gonna just do the job that you want them to do and come on Chie get that big crit we need come on don't run away okay this is really scary I hope this fan hurts Yukiko with the plays man I don't even care that reinforcements came I'm just happy we finally killed that guy oh my goodness and we're gonna get so much exp from this because more cupids came and guess what cupids you're gonna get on from a bofu this is a good day for me <laughs> I may be a little too hypey but yeah I'm kind of happy that happened and all right we get to take pretty much everything here which is super uh, I'm gonna get persona endurance up avoid encounters change to another arcana because i don't need the sun all right we even got a chest key out of that we'll get the sweep bonus plus yeah not bad not bad now what now i'm just going to show you how much exp we're getting from this that's a lot and that will definitely give us level 17 and level up pretty much everybody one time i love it man i love getting golden shadows it's it's nice when you get them and Yukiko even got Medea, so now we just have to worry about this one shadow that... Uh, oh, no, the other one just ran into the... Oh, okay, I see what happened. Gotcha, gotcha. Spend a little bit of uh, Yukiko's SP to heal us up. I'm gonna keep Chie at that HP, and no. Now I gotta drink these sodas. I have been bring... <laughs> if you think about it, I'm just bringing 15 sodas into this dungeon. It's like, uh, why do you have so many six-packs, Sensei? It's like, this is why. I just crack one open, you're like... <laughs> and oh wow, I was not expecting to uh, find another enemy, but this is the Daring Gigas. <laughs> he is resistant to all physical attacks and is actually weak to instant death. Yeah, so if you have any um, Justice Arcana Persona, or any Devil or Death Arcana ones, just toss some spells at him and please connect. Yeah, alright. They go down pretty quickly like that, but you gotta remember. And some death scales are not guaranteed. And the girl 
Oh my god. Yeah. We got Lilith, guys. Not Lilith. Uh, Lilum. I would like to get Lilith, but uh, chances are that's probably not going to happen. Oh, wow. We got another full sweep again. We even got a silk. Dude, we are getting really good personas. Like this. Lilum is great, if, especially like that we're going to be going against those guys. Because she eventually, I know, does she innately have Mudo? That's nice. I know I don't really need a Sylph. I already have that persona, but hey, that, oh, <laughs> almost hit uh, Lulum by accident. That would have been pretty bad. <laughs> Obviously, but uh, yeah, so far things are going okay in this dungeon. Can't really complain, honestly. I picked that chest up before attacking. Ugh! And another repeat battle. Now is the point where we've pretty much explored all the enemies. Not in the dungeon. Eventually, we will move up to more floors and explore more of this dungeon. For the time being, yeah, probably we're gonna start cutting out some battles till we get actually up to this floor. And whoa! I just got goosebumps. Something is on this floor. Be careful! All right, Teddy. I'll keep in mind, bruh. So let's uh, let's get on whatever's calling the goosebumps, man. <laughs> And unfortunately, I broke my sweep bonus streak. Kind of a bummer, but it was going to happen eventually, and I believe this door is what we're looking for. There's apparently a presence on the other side. Could it be Kanji-kun? Well, I'd be surprised if it wasn't. There he is! Kanji! My, my, thank you for your undivided attention. At last, I've penetrated the facility. These images are coming to you live from inside this steamy paradise. But I've yet to have any charming encounters. Could this hot fog be the cause? It's like steam rising from sweat. My body's tingling with excitement. This is so wrong in so many ways. I remember it being kind of like this on Yukiko's show, too. No, it wasn't like this. Those voices again. Wait, are they louder this time? These voices? I was wondering whose they could be since it's only the victim in here. Is it the people watching outside? You mean everybody who's watching the Midnight Channel? They're reacting to the show? Yikes! If people are watching Kanji-kun now, he's gonna be a legend in a way he never intended. Well, it's really his shadow, not him. But normal people won't know that. The shadows are getting really restless! That elusive thing I truly yearn for. Will I finally find it here? <laughs> well then, onward and deeper to reach further realms of romance. Let's get going, damn it! Kanji-kun! That was his other self. It's trying to reveal his hidden feelings. It seems much worse than that time with Yuki-chan's shadow. At this rate, it might end up getting bare naked. <laughs> bare naked? Oh man, here it comes. Um, was I supposed to laugh? Destroy! <laughs> God, I love that delivery from uh, Yukiko's voice actor, and yeah, the cat's kind of out of the bag. In some fashion, Kanji's other self seems to be that of a more parody of a homosexual man. Yeah, that's kind of what this dungeon is all about. For those who don't know, but mostly in Japan, the stereotypical homosexual is sort of a really strong guy that goes to the gym a lot. Not, not necessarily the same as here in America. The Nazim... The Nizam Beast. I don't like this guy. It's scary. <laughs> it's probably gonna do a lot of damage to us, but luckily we have Jack Frost. It's really not uh, all that weak to too much of memory serves me right, so I'm just gonna go for that. Uh, Bufula. We're gonna see how that goes. Come on, 127. Okay, I'll deal with that. Takes a lot, lot more SP than normal Bufu, but I think it's worth it in the end. 
if you take down the enemy that you're trying to beat. Please do not hurt too many. Okay, not bad, not bad. I mean, pretty much just knock it out after that. That was a strength art. Ooh. Another one. Great. Uh, we could try an instant death skill attack on this shadow, but at the end of the day, it has no real chance of working. I, don't, I mean, we've tried pretty much every element, I think, on it. I don't think it's weak to anything at all. Unfortunately, yeah, you kind of can't scan like you could in Persona 4 or 3, I mean. So that's kind of a bummer. I know a lot of people really like that mechanic, how you could scope out the enemy's weakness ahead of time. You know, I'm, I'm just going for fire. Use some of Yukiko's SP instead of my own. We should finish it off this turn. So, yeah, Kanji, um... Wow, I really did not want that chest key, but I'll take it, I guess. And all right. Yukiko leveled up her Kanohana Sakia. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, and I don't really know where to end this episode off. I know we've been probably going for a rather long time. But I guess now is better than ever. Since this door is locked. And we also picked up some go homes. But we've just scratched the surface of this dungeon, guys. It's going to get a lot more crazy and a lot more in-depth as time goes on. And are you okay, Sensei? Don't push yourself too hard. Uh, I'm not going to return to the entrance, but I I'm, I I'm thankful that you're concerned for me, Teddy. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode. Let's play Persona 4 Golden. We fused up our new Persona, Jack Frost, entered the bathhouse, and learned a little bit about Kanji, and fended off, actually, more than almost half of the shadows that we can encounter. Here, so. so far, things are going great, but we still have a long ways to go till we get to the last floor. So, see you guys in the next part, where we progress farther into the steamy bathhouse. Bye.